Tuck in a herday hole under the stair, lay a rickety basket in need of repair. A chewed up old cushion, a blanket all worn, everything broken and smelly and torn. And, under the blanket, his paws on his tum, happily snoring, lay schnitzel von crumb. He liked all the tatters, he liked every tear, the broken down edges, the holes in the hair. The smell was so friendly and as for the fit, if he needed to squeeze, did he mind? Not a bit. But, yeah. said his family, time to say no, this beaten up basket must instantly go. It's scruffy and dirty, it's hopelessly small and we really can't have such a smell in the hall. So they lifted the basket and took it away. And bought him another the very same day. He tried it for size. There was room for his tum, but it didn't smell friendly to schnitzel von crumb. The basket was smart and a much better fit. Was it cozy and comforting? No, not a bit. He made a new bed in a jumble of shirts, pajamas and towels and flowery skirts. But something was wrong with the smell and the fit. Was it cozy and comforting? No, not a bit. He made a new bed with the dusters and mops, the cleaners and brooms and preserving jar tops. But something was wrong with the smell and the fit. Was it cozy and comforting? No, not a bit. He made a new bed in a rack full of greens, with the spinach and celery, parsley and beans. But something was wrong with the smell and the fit. Was it cozy and comforting? No, not a bit. He made a new bed at the side of the shed, in the daisies and dahlias, yellow and red. But something was wrong with the smell and the fit. Was it cozy and comforting? No, not a bit. Poor Schnitzel von Crumb. He sat on the stair and dreamed of his basket, the holes in the hair, the broken down edges, the blanket all worn, everything scruffy and smelly and torn. His ears drooped down and his tail did too. Help. Said his family, what can we do? So, back to the herday hole under the stair, went the battered old basket in need of repair. And back in a hurry he went Schnitzel von Crumb, with a wag of his tail and a heave of his tongue. The new one was smart and a much better fit, but when it had gone, did he mind? Not a bit. With pattering paws and a lolloping tum, down the front steps galloped Schnitzel von Crumb. Out on the drive by the barbecue bar, the family loaded the trailer and car. In went the tent and the old red canoe, paddles and blankets and sleeping bags too. Such a scurrying bustle, a holiday hum. It was all of a puzzle to Schnitzel von Crumb. He meddled and snooped from the gate to the shed. He got under feet until everyone said, We're all in a hurry, we must get away so Schnitzel von Crumb. Please, keep out of the way. He scruffed into boxes, he climbed into bed, he drove them all mad until everyone said, We're all in a hurry, we must get away so Schnitzel von Crumb. Please, keep out of the way. <laughs> At last they were ready, the packing was done, they gathered the children and counted each one. They checked up on grandma, the food and the tent, they fastened their seat belts, and off they all went. Poor Schnitzel von Crumb. He whimpered and yowled, he sat by the gate and he howled and he howled. <laughs> His world had gone as fathered Miss Plum. No, she said, surely that's Schnitzel von Crumb? Far out of town at the side of the road, the family stopped and inspected the load. <laughs> They started to worry, we can't carry on, something is horribly, terribly wrong. We packed all the children, the tent and canoe, the paddles and blankets and sleeping bags too. We tied down the surfboards and grandma has come, but something is missing. Where's Schnitzel von Crumb? Crumb? Oh doom and disaster, what absence of mind. We just didn't notice, we've left him behind. Poor little Schnitzel, alas and Alec. We simply can't help it, we'll have to go back. But chasing behind like a hurricane gust, came a skidding of tires and a billow of dust. Itching them up with speedy Miss Plum. And who's her passenger? Miss <laughs> Plum. What a commotion! 
He gambled around in a frolicking frenzy, a rollicking bound. He capered in circles till, breathless at last, he sank in a heap at the edge of the grass. Come, said the family, let's get away. That's quite enough drama and fuss for today. They fastened their seat belts and waited to Miss Plum. As they set off together with Schnitzel von Brown. Climbing the river bank onto the track, went Pittery Pattery Zachary Quack. Ah! He scruffled a centipede out of its house, he pestered a spider and ruffled a mouse. He bustled a beetle asleep on the chair, and hustled a dragonfly into the air. Flick went the dragonfly, flick flick flick, here, there and everywhere, quick, quick, quick. Over the path and the rockery too, over some paint and a bottle of glue. Flick went the dragonfly, flick flick flick, here, there and everywhere, quick, quick, quick. Through the petunias. Pumpkins and peas, over the rake and a mountain of leaves. Flick went the dragonfly, flick flick flick, here, there and everywhere, quick, quick, quick. Over the sandpit, around the old swing, the netting and potting mix, tied up with string. Flick went the dragonfly, flick flick flick, back to the river bank, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> A dog to remember is Schnitzel von Krum, with his very short legs and his very low tum. He can bury a bone in a minute or two, there are many remarkable things he can do. He can hide in a wood pile of branches and twigs, and he disappears into the holes that he digs. He fetches the paper, his rug and his bowl, sometimes his fetching gets out of control. He can hustle and tease with the greatest of ease but everyone knows that dogs never climb trees. He can gallop and scamper around bushes and bends, he has to run fast to keep up with his friends. He scatters the birds when they're taking a bath, and sloshes the water all over the path. He can hustle and tease with the greatest of ease, but everyone knows that dogs never climb trees. He can ride on a skateboard, he teeters on top and flies through the air when it comes to a stop. His nose is so certain, his sniffer so sound, he can rustle a rabbit from deep in the ground. He can roll in the mud, he can wallow in play till he changes from brown to a globulous gray. He can hustle and tease with the greatest of ease, but everyone knows that dogs never climb trees. But if they are bold and adventurous too. It might just be possible. Maybe. They do? I might die, mother sh Christmas was coming. Out came the tree, dressed up in finery splendid to see. Trinkets and tinsel with bottles and boughs, a mouse with a hat and a very red nose. Reindeer and ribbons, a silvery bell, glittering stars and a Santa as well. Hanging up high was a lollipop drop, and the Christmas tree fairy sat right at the top. Glimmering, shimmering, brilliantly bright, the tree was a truly magnificent sight. But, someone was waiting to meddle and play, to get up to tricks in his usual way. Slinky Malinky, with mischievous glee, crept from the shadows to climb up the tree. He nodded the tinsel and swatted the bell. He battered the baubles and trinkets as well. The Santa was seized in a smothery hug, and the fairy was whisked away under the rug. The family said, what a glorious mess. We know the culprit, it's easy to guess. A bothersome rascal, a bothersome pain, Slinky Malinky's been at it, again. They gathered the tinsel and fastened the bell, the baubles, the trinkets and reindeer as well. They hung up the mouse with the very red nose, the Santa, the ribbons and all of the bows. There. They all said, as they studied the tree. Everything's back where we meant it to be. Wait, there's a problem, a serious space, where is the fairy? 
she's not in her place. They scrabbled and searched under table and chair, behind the piano and out on the stair. Under the cushions on top of the sill, but the Christmas tree fairy stayed hidden and still. Oh Fuzil. They said, what a shattering shame, if we haven't a fairy, it won't be the same. Then came a scruffle, a tinkle of bell, a wobble of bobble, a shiver of shell. Someone said, look. Can you see what I see? There is the fairy, on top of the tree.